His name is Daniero Mancinelli, and since the Second Vatican Council, he's been making papal vestments. His list of clients include Pope Paul VI, John Paul II, Benedict XVI, and now Pope Francis. And so, from his family shop in Rome's Borgo Pio neighborhood, he designs and sews the vestments. The chasuble is a cloak worn during celebrations of the Holy Mass. Today it's been resized thanks to His Holiness Pope Francis, who wanted to simplify things more, make them more somber and less costly. Mancinelli even hand-delivered a papal hat to Pope Francis, which he has exchanged numerous times with pilgrims during general audiences. The Zucchetto is a small round hat, bishops have a purple one, cardinals use red, and the popes is white. Since his election, Pope Francis has shown off his style. He's the first pope to appear without the red velvet cape known as the Mosetta, and he only uses the papal stole and mitra during solemn ceremonies. The stole is the symbol of priests which all clergy use, especially during Mass or confession. There are four colors and they depend on the liturgical calendar, green, red, white and violet. The mitra is what he wears on his head. At first they were very elaborate, but now they're much more simple because that's how Pope Francis wants them. The pallium is a white strip of wool with the black crosses that the Pope gives all metropolitan bishops on the feast day of St. Peter. Around his neck, Pope Francis chooses to wear a silver crucifix, which came directly from these very shelves. I fortunately sold the cross not to Pope Francis, but to someone who gave it to him when he became bishop in 1992. That person bought it here. The fisherman's ring has a very precise meaning, which is to gather all souls around the world. So even though designing priestly vestments is pretty straightforward, the Pope has managed to reflect his personality in the vestments through their simplicity.